Hello, welcome to Scott's Odyssey. Did you know that Centralia, known for its underground coal fire, isn't alone? Have you ever wondered what the state beverage or aircraft are? How about the oldest known site for human habitation in North America? Welcome to the second installment of Truly Odd to See History Facts about Pennsylvania. See you in a minute. <music> Welcome back. If you've watched my videos before, thank you for your patronage. And if you're new to Scott's Odyssey, welcome aboard. Need to let you know that I'm a little hoarse in the throat right now, and I apologize for that in advance, but it'll get better soon enough. Because of the fun involved with making these videos and the resounding request for another one of these shotgun rounds of interesting and odd facts about Pennsylvania, I decided to put one together in order to mainly get it off my ever-growing list of Pennsylvania factoids and oddities. Like the first list, I will share with you some of the things I cross when investigating sites and the history of those sites and bring it to you in a round of facts that will just blow your mind. As most of you know, and for those of you who are new to the channel, the Odyssey focuses on the whole history and the complete story, which ultimately brings to you information that helps make the story more relatable and shows you that those things in our past of who we once were are not much different than what we experience with who we are now. Okay, get ready for a series of Pennsylvania Facts Part 2 that will stir your brain and show you just another fantastic reason why our Commonwealth is historically so spectacular. In no particular order, let's begin this journey into the odd to see. If you're from Pennsylvania, you're probably already aware of primary state symbols, like the state animal, which is the white-tailed deer, but did you know that you have a 1 in 52 chance of hitting one of those deer every single time you get into your car and take it on the road? Did you know our state fish is the brook trout, or the state flower is the traffic cone? No, wait, the rhododendron. No, sorry, the mountain laurel. Our state bird is the ruffed grouse, and our state insect is the Pennsylvania firefly. You might even know that our state tree is the Eastern Hemlock, but did you know our state dog is the Great Dane? Our state aircraft is the Piper J3 Cub. Our state amphibian is the Snot Otter, or more accurately, the Eastern Hellbender. Yep, it's a giant salamander. The state beverage is milk, and the state fossil is Phacopsrana, or the Middle Denovian period Trilobite. The state nickname is not the Liberty Bell State, nor the Independent State, nor the Quaker State, but it definitely is the Keystone State. Our state theater is the Walnut Street Theater in Philadelphia. Our state steam locomotive is the K4-1361 and the S-3750. The 1361 used to be prominently displayed on Horseshoe Curve in Altoona, but was replaced with the EMD GP9 diesel number 7048. The state electric locomotive is the GG1-4859. Our ship is the U.S. Brig Niagara. Our beautification and conservation plant is the Penn Gift Crown Vetch. And our firearm is the Pennsylvania Long Rifle. Did you know that the actual Long Rifle originated in Pennsylvania? That's why it's aptly called the Pennsylvania Long Rifle. But many actually call it the Kentucky Rifle. This mix-up came about because its popularity when Daniel Boone, also from Pennsylvania, used it heavily throughout Kentucky, whom were much more familiar with the short-barreled, smooth-bore rifles during that time period. Speaking of Kentucky, did you know that Kentucky bourbon was only born in Kentucky because a large number of Pennsylvanians sent their whiskey down the Ohio River to escape taxation? Which brings us to President George Washington and his first military action as the leader of America's military. President Washington headed and led the U.S. military through Pennsylvania to quell the Whiskey Rebellion that ensued during the increased taxes on distilled spirits. And after the governor's mansion was burned down and an extremely large and angry mob decided to 
descend upon Pittsburgh with the intent of burning the city to the ground. But we'll talk more about that in a video that will be dedicated to the Whiskey Rebellion. As for the state steam locomotive formerly being at Horseshoe Curve, did you know that during World War II, the Germans had a mission called Operation Pastorius, in which they sent trained German spies to sabotage the United States, and one of the targets was Horseshoe Curve, as well as the Altoona locomotive repair shops and multiple chemical factories owned by Pensalt, or the Pennsylvania Salt Manufacturing Company, which made materials such as fluorine and aluminum. Pennsylvania is home to the oldest known site of human habitation in North America, called Meadowcroft Rock Shelter. The evidence from this site shows that people were living here over 19,000 years ago. The time period is contested by modern academia because it would push the timeline of humanity back further than what their money paid for on previous archaeological and anthropological digs. It's also believed that remnants of the pre-Clovis culture were found in a cave called Sheep's Rock found in what is now Raised Hound Lake, and it almost stopped the Army Corps of Engineers from building the dam. Unfortunately, after a modern academia-funded dig site took place, it was claimed that the findings did not support the theory and the cave was then collapsed and is now only referred to as a rock shelter of non-importance and is a common recreation point for tourists to jump off a cliff into the lake. Did you know Pennsylvania killed a hitchhiking robot? In 2013, some Canadians thought it would be fun to make a hitchhiking robot to send out into the world with the message of San Francisco or bust written on its face. The robot traveled from Canada, then ended up going international all through Europe. It spent a week with a heavy metal band. It hit the Middle East, participated in a wave at a Boston Red Sox game, and when it reached Philadelphia, it was bashed into pieces and ended up in a dumpster. Good old city of brotherly love. But not all of Philly is bad. The first urban national wildlife refuge established in 1972 is the John Highs National Wildlife Refuge at Tenneco in Philadelphia near the International Airport. Speaking of the airport or Hog Island, which made me think of the hoagie, which for some reason is not the state sandwich, did you know that we do not have a state dessert? But we do have a state cookie. The state cookie is the chocolate chip cookie. And we almost had a state dessert. It would have been the whoopie pie. But unfortunately, the state of Maine in 2011 declared that the whoopie pie is their state dessert. And they also claim that they had them first. Although when you dig deep enough, you would learn that Pennsylvania most definitely had whoopie pies long before Maine did. Continuing with food, do you like McDonald's? Did you know that McDonald's flagship burger, the Big Mac, was created in 1965 by Jimmy Delegati out of Pittsburgh at his franchise McDonald's in Ross Township? Pennsylvania is also the mushroom capital of the United States, producing more than 66% of the country's supply of mushrooms. We also produce more than 80% of all the U.S. pretzels, making us the pretzel capital of the United States. Now, let's get away from foodie facts and move into other weird facts because I'm getting a little bit hungry right now. Pennsylvania is home to the largest free-roaming elk herd in the United States. Yep, over 1,400 elk can be found up in the Pennsylvania wilds, more commonly becoming known as elk country. Speaking of the wild woods of Pennsylvania, did you know that Pennsylvania is not named after William Penn? Well, at least not the founder and governor. Pennsylvania is named after Admiral Sir William Penn, his father. At the time, it was just called Sylvania, and the William that we know wanted to call it New Wales. But the Secretary of State petitioned the king, and the king pushed that it will be called Penn's Sylvania. And well, the king's name stuck. How about the fact that the border between Pennsylvania and Delaware is the only arc-shaped state line in the entire United States? Did you know that Rebecca Webb Pencock Lukens of Coatesville, Pennsylvania was America's first CEO of an industrial company, the Lukens Steel Company? The first city to be cleaned up from a dirty, polluted cesspool of the industrial era was Harrisburg under the nation's City Beautiful Movement. Speaking of pollutants, in 1774, Joseph Priestley of Northumberland, Pennsylvania was creating vitriolic air, 
which is what he called sulfur dioxide, which was produced when he would heat red mercuric oxide with burning glass. During this process, he was also the man who first discovered oxygen. The 1990s alternative indie band, The Bloodhound Gang, out of Collegeville, PA, wrote a song for Pennsylvania called Pennsylvania. The, the state did not accept this as an appropriate song and instead chose one that was produced in the form of a college band anthem and pushed it through as the state song under a whole lot of lobbying money and a lot of deep pockets. And it's pretty much not known by anyone who lives within the state. Pittsburgh is named after William Pitt, the elder, first Earl of Chatham and the great commoner who funded many of the troops who pushed west in Pennsylvania during the Seven Years War. William Pitt never set foot in Pittsburgh, Fort Pitt, Pennsylvania, or the New World for that matter. Pennsylvania Dutch aren't. Yup, Pennsylvania Dutch are not Dutch, which doesn't mean that there were not Dutch who came to Pennsylvania, but rather the word Dutch is just an anglicized pronunciation of Deutsch, which was the language spoken by those who came from what we would refer to as the Germanic people that consisted of pre-Austria German areas. Although, in the late 1930s, there was an attempt to have them called Pennsylvania Germans instead of Dutch. But the war in Europe erupted and everybody looked at each other and decided to say Pennsylvania Dutch was just fine. Speaking of the Pennsylvania Dutch, the Mennonites, one of the many Pennsylvania Dutch communities that came to the United States, didn't arrive here until 1860. The Amish arrived sometime around 1730, but I bet you didn't know that the Amish are a religious sect that are derived from the Mennonites, not the other way around like everyone would like to believe. The Amish are based on the teachings of the Mennonite preacher by the name of Jacob Amman, sometime from between 1720 and 1730 when the Amish had just arrived. Pennsylvania is home to the oldest American zoo located in Philadelphia and the world's oldest still operating roller coaster, the Leaps, the Dips in Altoona, which I made a video some time ago. You could check that out over here or down there or just search the channel. Ending on another fun note, Centralia, Pennsylvania, known for the forever burning fire in the underground coal mines. Well, did you know it's not the only one in Pennsylvania? Yeah. Uh, apparently, there are currently 36 similar fires across the entire state. And that wraps up the second edition of an Odyssey Shotgun Round of interesting and odd facts about Pennsylvania. Leave a comment down below about which ones you knew or which ones you didn't know. Also, leave a comment if you know of other interesting and odd sites, sounds, and history of Pennsylvania. If you learned anything or found this video entertaining, give it a like. Hit the subscribe for more Odyssey videos. Stop by the merch store or drop by on Patreon or PayPal to help support the channel in bringing you more of Pennsylvania's fantastically weird history. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Our state steam loco code, loco coca coca coca, our state.